Hello once again guys and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banjo Chui. Alright, so as you can see we're starting somewhere different today because it's time to finish off that glitter gulch mine. Jump up and collect the jiggy. Can we go in here? Nope. And that's what we came here for. So when we come back when we can come back from this cutaway, we'll be back in Teridacti Land. Well this is a good place to start as any. We're back at the top of this mountain that we were scaling in the last episode that I'll admit I didn't put that much energy into, but what I'll we'll do is I'll click stand the switch. Give this dinosaur talking to. And let's have a look where those jam jars. It ain't happening, lady. You need to get rid of that nardy boy before you learn this one. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough, says Kazooie. Lovely's not questioning the fact that Kazooie's a dragon. So now we need to go find ourselves a split-up pad. I think there's one up here. I think. Well, there's one through here. That's, that's fine. Destroy this evil make-home thing. Hive. Now, split. Wrong button. Split up tight. Switch to Kazooie. No, switch to Kazooie. Thank you. And now let's go find Jill Sergeant Jam Jars once again. Oh, that's time for a rhyme, folks. I can't believe that you're a bird. Who can't hatch eggs? It's so, so absurd. So hold down Z, then press B. Then a real bird, I'll finally see. That'll be all. There's Mist. Oh, he's not quite love how he's not questioning the fact Kazooie's a dragon. And if you want to know why Kazooie's a dragon, then go watch not the previous part, but the part before that to find out why. Let me avoid it. In fact, let's just destroy you again. Kazooie's just got this move. Ah, if you go down here, you'll find an egg. If you try and hatch it, you get told off. Hey you down there, get off my precious egg. Why won't it hatch? Because I don't want it to, to yet. Oh. Yeah, that egg won't hatch until you beat the boss of this world. Which is what we're going to do next. Again, you respawn. Respawns quickly, that thing does. So yeah, let's go kill so Let's go... I was about to say kill something, but we're not going to kill the boss. We're just going to beat it. How many bosses would be beaten anyway? We'll, be, we'll kill a couple of bosses, but... We'll be, kill maybe a couple of bosses, but certainly... There's also been a few bosses that we... I've become friends with us. Or, like, Old King Cole, he's now letting us use the train. Uh, what's this say? Only when the secret code of the dinosaurs is heard will this jiggy be yours. Whatever that is. But I think that's a bit of a clue as to what the transformation will be for this world as well, I think you'll find. Way over here. A decent camera angle like this one, this is fine. Into here. Actually, I should have came here later. Into the Ungabunga's cave. And does this guy look familiar? Well, he should, because he's the guy that we stole the, the golden statue from. You seem okay. We let you in. Thank you. Thank you, we appreciate that. Stand on the switch, and it opens up another passageway for us. Stuff for later, it's still stuff for later on I think. You know it's the springy step shoes, but we're not going to use them yet, we're going to come back to them. Because of... Just because, because there's something else we can do before we can... Before we could come for it. Anyway, over here, that was where the global was, I think you're... If you're Find it's down here. I 
An easier path up, essentially. Easier path up the way. But this way is more fun. The way we took was more fun, anyway, in my opinion. Anyway, if you go over here... I think there's another jam jar silo here, is there? There's not, I'm pretty... There's, I'm pretty sure there's another jam jar silo for us to learn. And a skill for us. How much? Well, don't need them, we'll take some of them. Anyway, you'll notice it's of the hole. What, big enough for a clockwork kazoo egg? So in it goes. And what will we find at the end of, the end of this hole? What will we find? Another bare body for us to explode behind. Arr! Not believe you beat beaten all rock nuts tribe. We let you have shiny rock. It went shape of the pear for them all, it did. Now I should have got gotten this guy before I went for one of the other ones that were easily accessible, unlike this one where you need to use a clockwork kazooie to get at it. So let that be a lesson to you. Not quite getting a lesson, but lesson nonetheless. Let's have the wombas. No, I don't think we can do anything over there yet. Just trying to plan ahead here, guys. Just trying to plan ahead. I don't think there's anything in this cave that we can get, can really get. A river passage. I'll come back. Come back to that later. Later. So I want to do this stuff as... So I want to get the boss out of the way of this world. This episode. Okay, okay so back to the Ungabungas cave, but in fact before we do that... If we go down this little pass, this little path to left... There's another Ungabunga. Let's have a talk with him. You not come past. No one gets in Oogle Boogle Cave. They bad men. Why is that then? We Ungabungas want to rule all Terry Dacty land. Oogles want to share. They bad. I don't think they're bad. They just want to share. What's what's wrong with that? What's wrong with wanting to share, guys? Somebody tell me that, please. Okay. Anyway, let's get the springy step shoes. That like sitting here for some some bizarre reason. Don't know why they are, but they are. Dun 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 dun. Anyway, you get plenty of time for this bit, so don't rush it. If you rush it, you will make a mistake. And don't use the springy step shoes until you're up here, else. You will just waste it. Some, yeah. Some health over there. Steal my eggs, would you? And take this. So, don't know, I don't know what the hell that is she's hurling at us, but as long as you keep moving, you will avoid it. That's, don't stop for anything. Just keep run just keep running your bars your rear end off. Just keep going and we'll should reach the top of this in no time at all. And we're nearly there. She see that if you notice the teleporter, she just hit that. She stops. Gah, you made it. Come on. I dare you to come up the stairs. I'll show you what happens to eggs egg robbing bears. Avoid the dinosaurs. Good. We did them. Without, without having to do do all that much, really. I don't I don't care, I'm taking it. Anyway, let's switch to ice eggs for this. For the miracle of the ice putting out fire. You all ready? Somebody explain that to me. 
that that dinosaur and put the ice out again, the fire out again even. And then just walk along over this way. And if you turn around you'll notice that the fire has magically went back on. Don't know how that works but it does. I mean, there's another teleport that we can activate. Stomping planes. I love how it just goes deathly quiet all of a sudden as well. I love that. We'll be coming. We'll be doing any stuff here just yet. We're gonna go back to the top of the mountain to teleport first to deal with the dinosaur that was hurling whatever the hell it was at us. There's some health up there if you need it. I don't. I've got a full quarter of health, so we'll just go up the stairs. And we're at Teddy's Nest. So we go over this way. There's another stairs down the way. We do want to go to the left, but. If you do this first, you can open up another area for a bear and bird. A bear and bird split up pad. It's not up there. And there's why, there's another egg to hatch. God knows how you meant to get to it, mind you, but... Because if I'm right, Kazooie can't climb up it. I'm right. Now watch me prove, be proven wrong, so that Kazooie can't climb up it. But only Ban Banjo can, but Kazooie can't. So that's going to be fun, fun on the bin. And don't fall off, I know it's a stupid thing to say, don't fall. Has someone been repairing holes in their nests right recently? What could it mean? So, so I, I can't remember how you. I can't remember how you get that egg, and that was pretty close to falling off. Edge so slightly, not too far that we don't that we fall off. Actually, something part of me really wants to try and land on that bit there to see what there is. Part of me really wants to. But I know if I did, I'll prob probably be certain death. Anyway, let's do what we came here to do. And deal with the boss. Go left, back, we're back, back at Terry's nest. That's the path that we took to come up. And if we do this, we get a look at Terry. Terry the pterodactyl. Give me back my eggs, you filthy light fingered fair. Uh, what eggs are you? Are those? Don't play the fool with me. I want my eggs back, or else. Or else what? You're due to be ex become extinct soon. Anyway, that's true. Maybe so, but not before you two. Terry, the destructive pterodactyl parent. First off, we just want to avoid her attacks. And that's her attack. That's her main form of attack. Easy enough avoided. And when she stops attacking, just want to aim at her. There she, there she goes. Aim at her and fire eggs. I do recommend the grenade eggs, because they do the most damage. They, get, they do 4 damage per hit. And as we're using Kazooie, we could use fire eggs and get a limited fire egg. Just use the unlimited fire eggs, but I'm not sure your best tactic. Those guys are easily enough beaten. Where did all my fr sorty fret buddies go? You've got, you've stolen them, just like my precious eggs. Why the hell would I steal, steal your snotty friends? And so I'll be making in the same place. Terry, it's not going to do much. Ah damn, almost had it, but 
Guess what goes three phases of attack through three phases of attack before we can beat have this boss beaten. I mean, look, she's down to six health. Oh, that's almost been it would have been a perfect run would it, if I didn't get hit then. Oh well. But again, maybe I'm speaking too soon. Just, just keep avoiding the attacks. And just soon retire and try to hit her one more time. There we go, we hit her. Stop it! I've had enough. Oh, Depression. Oh, I've made her sad. So I feel kind of bad now. I tried my best, but I'll never get my eggs back from you now. We haven't got your eggs, Terry. You haven't? Oh dear. Sorry about the, the rough stuff. That's alright. I enjoyed it. Perhaps we could keep a lookout for your eggs. Would you? That's real nice of you. There are four eggs to, fi to find which must be ready to for hatching around now. Leave it with us, Teddy. Please find the eggs for me before I become extinct. I'll give you a ha half the reward now and half later. She gives us a jiggy. That's half a reward for it. To help you get my eggs back, I'll also let you use this a flying pad. There's one egg. It's ready to hatch. A baby dinosaur, a baby pterodactyl's in there. Yay! There's one in the Oogabogo's cave. Again, no, no idea how we're going to get to it, but we can try. And let's collect the wood. It's jiggy number 40. We're smoking now, huh? Break this, dive down, and get... Another jiggy! We are smoking now on the jiggy side of things. Really smoking now. Anyway, I think we'll end it here for... The yeah, I think... No. We'll do a bit more before we end it. Do a little bit more. Just a little bit. Because right now I can't, I can't remember how we get that blooming dinosaur egg that was seen. Anyway, let's just go back the way we came to the Ung Ungabungas cave, the first first entrance that we came to. We'll need some egg. Yeah, we're going to need some of them. Mighty feathers, because we finally get to fly! Yay! Kazooie's happy, I'm happy. Banjo don't think he's happy. I don't know. He's thinking, Jesus, I've got to walk. I'm not, I'm not gonna like, use Kazooie for this. Kazooie's done enough work. All Banjo had to do was stand there and let Kazooie aim. Lazy sod. Hey, sweet. He survived it! Yeah! Let's use this path. We're trying to hatch a couple of eggs in this part now, I think. Down here. This is the first first entrance. Is it? Is it? It is. Ooh, so you too. Okay, back up here. Just run past. Destroy him. Human thing never gives up, does it? Wait, it's not time. Kazooie's time to shine again. Down here. A dinosaur ready to get. A baby dino ready to hatch. And that's the miracle of child of life, childbirth. 
whatever. That's my precious babies! Oh, isn't it cute? Yeah, it's cute. Cuteness overload. There's another one to go help out. There's three more to go help out. Two that I know about. Two I can. One I still got no clue about. Figure it out at some point. And then there's that one at the Oogabogo's cave that right now we can't get at because there's an Ungabunga guard in the cave. And he's saying, no, we're not letting you in. Go home. Go somewhere else. Forget about it. I'm not doing it. Down and... Where's that thing anyway? Where is it? Let's just use the warp pad. Yeah, we'll do the stomping plane instead of the... Maybe the next episode or something. Maybe. Where did, where did she put that flight pad for us? Where did she put the blooming thing? Somebody tell me that, because I can't remember. Somebody tell me, I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't know. Help. It's not on that one, is it? Probably waste my time. Wasting, wasting precious time. Yeah, wasted time. You're wasting time. Let's try and get that egg. Get that egg. Get that egg hatched. Come on, nuts. What the heck is that blowing? Light pad anyway. I thought this would have used a bit of blooming teleporter, but I honestly thought the flight pad was somewhere nearby. Oh, I've probably missed it. I probably have missed it, or thinking it's somewhere it's close further than it. I think. I don't know. I was about to say something then, but it just went right out of my head. Let's just grip grab along the edge. Should be a... There isn't, is there? There isn't. Just go back to Banjo, let's... Let's just end the video here, I think. In fact, I'm determined to get that bloody dinosaur... ...hatched. Let's try... Let's try laugh, just try it. And that's why you don't want to... That's why you don't want to go in the air without the weeding boots. Because it's, infe it's infested with something or other. Let's just go back here and we'll end the video, guys. So as always, a really big thank you for watching. And we'll see you later on for more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie.